everyone. I am Kay Thompson, a principal broker here at Best Real Estate Company, and this is your Friday focus. So I want to start by saying um, I want to thank all of the agents who came out to our office meeting today that was um, at Pinnacle Bank on Shady Grove in Memphis. We had a very interesting uh, group. Um, we talked about uh, fraud as it relates to real estate. Um, we identified some of the most common types of fraud that occur in real estate. We also got some solutions and some data about how we can um, things we can do to help our clients avoid um, being victims of fraud as it relates to real estate. And um, we even learned some new information uh, from one of our longtime partners, Christy Stokes. She is able to offer our customers home title monitoring and ident identity theft protection um, if they purchase a home warranty. And that coverage is free for the first year. Um, they have 10 or 12 things that they can help protect you from in that space. And so um, I encourage you guys to check out our database um, on Monday because I will add all of the information that we got from the meeting there so that you can have that for reference in the future. One of the things that I didn't get to talk about today was my uh, main topic for the meeting, and that is strategy. Um, I want to, before I go into that, um, apologize to you guys that were at the office meeting today that didn't get a chance to hear this. Hopefully you'll listen to the podcast and you'll, you know, get the same information. But I really I had several issues um, in the last month that involved fraud as it relates to title and real estate transactions. So I just thought, let me go ahead and proactively um, do some things to protect, uh, help us to protect our clients and ourselves in case something like that goes uh, awry. We did talk about the top, uh, the total sales volume for each state. Um, while some people had left at that part, um, we I did um, go through that. And um, we also talked about a few listings that we have available for sale that were under the $300,000 price range. Um, I went into each state and found some of our listings um, that fit that criteria because I really want us to um, work as a family and do all that we can to promote each other's listings. Just because you personally don't have a listing, that doesn't mean that your company doesn't have listings. And we should be offering those to our clients first. Um, so for those of you who uh, missed that, I'm so sorry. Let me give a shout out um, to our number one agent in terms of sales and transactions. Um, so in Mississippi and Tennessee, the same agent is the number one agent. That's Mr. Jonathan Bunch. Yay! He is the number one agent in terms of transactions, um, number and the um, dollar amount in terms of sales. He currently has about 16 listings available in the state of Mississippi that he doesn't have a buyer for. So you guys probably want to contact him and um, ask him a little bit about those. Shout out to Rolene um, Austin, who also has some great new construction going up both in Mississippi and the state of, of uh, Tennessee. Um, so you might want to reach out to her. Um, and then to all of our top producers, um, I can just throw out some names now. Elizabeth Castillo, Lisa Thomas, Vin Lee, um, um, Tanika Bland, um, you know, uh, those agents who are consistently performing at a high level. We thank you because you keep us or you um, your work actually keeps the rest of us on our toes and helps us to want to do better. And so um, I, I did want to throw that little caveat out there as well. So I want to go ahead and jump into today's topic. Um, it was about strategy. And um, one of the things that I think we need to do as real estate agents is focus on strategy more. Um, we often think about the end result, what our commission is going to be. And that may not be the first thought that we have, but especially if we're in a, a situation where a transaction is difficult or, you know, maybe giving us a lot of problems. You know, we try to focus on the commission is saying there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, and then a lot of us, once we close a deal, we really don't know how to get the next deal, you know, how to build the pipeline. And so that takes strategy. So that is what 
our meeting uh, or met my message to you today is um, one of the things that I'm doing to strategize um, for my business and for the company is I am hosting an open house on Saturday, August, uh, no, April 20th um, from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. at 3321 Cambridge Drive. Bartlett, Tennessee, 38134. Um, that home is a three-bedroom, 2.5 bath home with an in-ground swimming pool. Um, it has a lot of great space. It's um, almost 3,000 square feet. It's located in a really good area of Bartlett. Um, has laminate hardwoods throughout and tile. Um, all the appliances stay, all the pool equipment stays. So I hope you guys come out and join me for that. I'll have food and um, lots of goodies to give away. And one of our, uh, well, two of our, our um, real estate partners are helping me with sponsorships. So um, that's Ryan Knopp with Mortgage Financial Services and also um, Amanda Mitchell with Foundation Title. And I did a great little video to promote the open house. So it's on Facebook and all of our social media platforms. Make sure to share that with some of your clients. Um, so that they can come out and check the house out as well. Um, and I am paying 3% commission to a best agent who brings me a buyer. So that's that. That's one thing that um, I'm doing in terms of strategy. And open houses are a great, great way to um, meet new buyers um, and try to help them to become homeowners as well. And um, the other thing that I'm going to be doing is um, we are going to, I'm going to have a best real estate company community housing expo in lieu of an office meeting on July 19th, 2024. I want to shout out my um, lady, Angela Majors, for helping me to organize this event and make it something that's great. We're going to have food trucks there. We're going to have all sorts of people from every area of real estate um, that I can find that can bring good information for people who are looking to buy and sell real estate in our community. There will be heavy advertisements and postings for it. Um, and like I said, it's just for best agents, your clients and customers, and then those people who come um, to see us from the community. It will be held at the um, Houston Levy Community Center. Um, which is right at the corner of Houston Levy and Highway 64. And so I hope that you all can join us for that. So those are two of the things that um, I can speak to you right now about that I'm doing in terms of um, strategy. Those are part of my strategic plans, a short term and a long term. The final thing is um, for strategy um, that I can bring to you that I'm working on is um, helping LaDonna uh, to understand the things that we need in order to be, you know, to, to optimize our opportunities for business. And so we have a website that she's working on that's going to be new and beautiful and sleek and easy to use. And um, we are looking to add things back to it if we can, like personalized web pages for agents, um, some SEO optimization. We definitely will have IDXs from all the states on there that we're licensed in. And we will um, also be looking for ways to optimize SEO uh, or search engine optimization for those of you who don't know what that is and upgrading our mechanisms for lead generation. So um, we'll keep you posted on that. Um, so all of those things are, like I said, a part of a strategy um, that is my personal strategy. And as you can see, the strategy has other people included in it. So the main thing is if you're looking to obtain a big goal, you're probably you know, not going to be able to do it yourself. You need to have a good team around you that can help you to accomplish that. Um, so like one of the things that I can do in terms of strategy and marketing my real estate business is to be able to offer um, Credit Smart home buyer seminars where um, buyers can get a certificate, a certification for me. And if they are using Freddie Mac um, as a lending option, then that, um, and, and if they're using a lending option from Freddie Mac that um, requires them to have a home buyer education certificate or certificate, I can provide that. We have several Freddie Mac um, Credit Smart um, 
um, coaches here at our at our office. Um, that means we went to Freddie Mac. We took a, a, an extensive um, course load, and then we were able to get these certifications. And they give us already um, uh, materials that have already been prepared. They're interactive. They're all of those things to help us to to provide this service. And so um, I am going to be doing a lot more of uh, that in the future in order to help with strategy. One of the other things that I wanted to point out is that um, agents um, can do all the things that they do on the internet and I, there is value in that, promoting and advertising yourself on the internet. But we also want to keep it, you know, keep it's simple. So there's, um, you want to kiss it, keep it simple, sweetie. Um, make sure your strategy is something that is feasible for you to work and something that has measurable results. Um, you want a, a kiss listing and home buyer presentation. So you want to keep it simple. Um, people can tell when your advertisements are computer generated. So you just don't want to be putting out a bunch of computer generated, um, robotic type advertisements for your business. Um, they can help you uh, build a great, you know, let people know that you're there, but you're, you kind of get lost in the sauce if your marketing isn't targeted. So you want to make sure that you do that. As a part of your strategy, set sales goals and growth goals so that you are able to um, track those to make sure that the marketing that you're doing is getting the results that you expect. Make sure you know how to articulate what is happening in your local market and the immediate area of the property that you're showing or listing. You want to be able to tell people all about that. Another thing that you can do is, um, is um, you know, use virtual or not virtual, but vertical video. So just video from your phone, stand the phone up get you a, a tripod or whatever for your phone and, you know, give very um, um, good information to your, your, eight, your clients and the people that you're hoping to serve. Um, give advice. You can offer tips. You can talk about a listing you have. Um, if you haven't already followed me on TikTok, uh, please do so. Um, you can go out there and search me by my name. Um, and my TikTok handle is, I believe, K Thompson Sales, S-E-L-L-S. And I'm always giving clients or potential clients tips and things that they can do in order to make the home buying or home selling process easier and smoother. And I am getting people talking to me from all over the country who say they like my content, they like how I deliver it. And I am usually doing it driving. Well, in my car, let me not I'm not I'm not not paying attention to the road, but I have a setup in my car where I can put the phone there and it can record me while I'm um, driving safely. So um, that's some other things. And then um, you can do things like offer virtual staging. So, you know, if you have a property and I actually use a service um that helps that helps me with that so you know it's an option that can add values from for some sort sellers um it's a reasonable cost to do so there are lots of platforms with well, several good platforms out there that provide this service in a high quality way um there is one service that will even even allow the person to buy the furniture in the pictures if they wanted to do that I also have prepared some value statements um, that you guys will be able to use. You'll find those as well in the database. And I'm going to send a link out um, next week with um, updated materials um, in the database. Um, here are some um, things that you can do to find listings um, or to convert people. So there are lots of um, investors who are tired of dealing with rental properties, homeowners who have people living in rental properties that they can sell. Those are our opportunities for us to, to create listing in inventory and income. Um, market cycle investors who are people um, that buy, investors that buy when the market is down and they sell when the market is up. They are usually buy and hold investors. 
Um, those investors are always um, doing things as the market shifts. A lot of, of real estate agents don't like working with investors because they think investors are giving them a, 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 um, smaller commissions. Um, but those commissions add up if the investor is consistently giving you new deals that you can list. And so I want people to really not be afraid to work with investors. Those are your repeat customers. The average retail home buyer, especially if they're a first time home buyer, they're going to buy a house from you and then they're going to forget about you for, for seven to 10 years. If you don't have a strategy to keep marketing to them for seven to 10 years, they are just going to go out in 10 years and the first agent that responds to their question is probably going to be the agent that they work with. They are not going to remember you. So you either have to decide in your marketing strategy, what do you want to do? Do you want to, you know, hope those people come back to you or do you want to figure out some way to keep them um, motivated and talking to you and, 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 and for you to keep yourself in front of them so they can remember you when you are ready to sell. Um, working with investors is a way for you to have a residual income if you build a good rapport and trust with them, especially if they're looking to do a lot of have a lot of movement in their real estate business. It can be a lot, it can mean a lot of repeat business for you and a steady flow of income. Um, pre foreclosure homes. Um, you can help these people save their credit. You can help them buy later. There are strategies for doing that. Um, developing relationships with banks and asset managers. Um, and then local credit unions. They also have um, someone that manages the assets. That's a good way to find listings. You can develop relationships with probate, divorce attorneys, and bankruptcy attorneys. Attorneys, um, You can promote buildings um, or builders listings, so new construction. Um, you can cut prices for clients by doing list assists where you give them a discount on the listing that they have to sell if you're able to help them to purchase um, another home. I know a lot of agents do that. We just didn't know what it was called. It's called list assist. Um, we have an agent that's only been here about 60 days. If that, um, she went through and she was a new agent. She went through and called expires and had three closings in 30 days, like within her first 30 days of being a licensed agent and an agent at this firm, she closed two deals that total $980,000. So don't discount your expired listings. We also offer a mobile marketing service. I'm not going to go into detail about that, but if you want to know more about it, please reach out to me and I'll send you info. Um, there is geofencing. You can create business card strategies. Um, you can do show and tells um, for listings that you may have and all sorts of other things. Um, to help create a strategy. And so um, these are all things that you can do and track your results from it so that you can make sure that you're getting a return on your investment. I suggest every agent have some sort of marketing budget. You do not have to go and spend a ton of money buying leads from like top producer or anything like that. You can be doing simple things. Our... Um, um, United States Postal Service has great ways for you to market um, reasonably to everybody in a neighborhood or everybody in a zip code. So those are some things that you can check out. Business cards. When I was selling another um, product for a different company, one of the things that I would do is tell people that I was in a contest to hand out so many business cards to sharp people. And that always works. People love to give their opinion. People love to interact with you. So if you can come up with some ways where people can give you their opinions, it could be about a listing. It could be about, you know, a, a market trend or something like that. Do that because that opens the door for you to talk to these people and to be able to have a way in to share your value proposition, whether that's immediately or in the future. Um, I'm also going to add... Um, to the database, a, a couple of articles that I picked up that I thought would be great. One is called 30 Listing Lead Generations Ideas for a Post-NAR Settlement Market. While that settlement is still up in the air, we really don't know what's going to come of it. I thought all of these ideas were great ideas, and they include 
um, both some things that are great for the um, agent who thinks that, you know, the internet is the way to go to market their business. And there are some really time uh, proven effective ways that are not internet based in this article for people to read, uh, research and uh, try to incorporate into their business structure. Uh, another one is ditch generic marketing. Convey your value with storytelling. Forget the infographics, lists, and pie charts. Instead, tell a compelling story about how you've helped your clients. Um, customer um, testimonials um, that are videoed or written are also great ways to promote um, your business to other people and to give them the confidence that you can do a good job. Um, one other article I have, and I think this is the last one, um, and it's 10, agent, or 10 things to do um, to stay relevant as a real estate agent in 2024. So this gives you some marketing ideas and some strategy ideas that are easy, um, that don't cost a lot of money, that will allow you to... Um, you know, promote your business and put it out there. The other thing that I would tell you to do is join clubs. I'm a member of the Junior League. Um, I'm a member of um, Reach Memphis. Um, I know that um, one of our agents is a, me a member of the Kiwanis Club, um, which is um, like a car club. Like you, you want to do civic things, anything that you can do to put yourself out in the community with um, um in places where you can set up booths and do vendor work that's great um all of those things when i do those i get a lot of great um, um opportunities from um we had uh, we do trunk or treat every year with the united way um, we give out a few thousand pieces of candy last year in october i personally wasn't able to to be at the spot to give out the candy because I had another engagement, but four of our agents went in my stead and they were able to generate about 40 listings just giving out candy in the community. So um, being a community advocate, putting yourself out there, going to um, civic based things to learn about what's going on in the different areas that you serve and being able to have a space to connect with them is great. Even though I normally don't have a, a, a physical business card, business cards are a great, great way to promote your business it's cost effective and so um, i'm going to stop right there because i promised you guys that these things would not go over 30 minutes if you have any questions or concerns about how to develop a strategy i also have a strategy a real estate strategy template that i will be putting out on monday for you guys to be able to utilize it has specific questions about your business that you can answer to help you to create um, a strategy, a strategy that's actually going to work for you. And one other thing that I wanted to talk about while I still have a few minutes is that um, we have an alternative now to the National Association of Realtors. I don't believe it's going nationwide yet, but they are a, 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 a uh, an organization that we want to kind of keep our eye on. Um, and it is the American Real Estate Association's um, the American Real Estate Association it, or area. Um, they are um, a new trade organization for real estate professionals. It was started by, um, I always forget his name, uh, Mauricio Umansky, who owns the agency, which is a which is a very well known luxury real estate brand in in Los Angeles. Um, you might know. Um, or seen Mauricio Umansky on TV. He was a real house husband. Um, at one point, he was married to Cal Richards, which is um, the daughter or granddaughter, the sister to Kathy Hilton. And so that's how he got, um, I think that's how he made it to TV with his connections with them. But he has a really great show on Netflix um, where he talks about the dynamics or him and his agents discuss the dynamics of things and how they work in their brokerage and they solve problems and things of that nature. Um, he founded this organization with Jason 
Haber because they felt like, you know, for so long, um, NAR has gotten kind of complacent in going to bat for us. So they wanted to create an organization that was designed by real estate agents so that it can be um, so that they can give, give us things that we really could use in the workplace. Again, this is not um, a, a downplay of NAR. NAR also provides a lot of great information, data, and tools. Uh, but I just thought it would be good for you guys to know that there is another entity out there and they are growing really fast. Um, since their inception, um, nearly a year ago, so I think they've been around for almost a year, their um, um, membership has increased uh, a lot. And, and um it's increased by nearly 30 percent um mainly due to the ab absorption of uh new york realtor members um which was a total of about 3800 people um because in january the um real estate board of new york decided that listing agents were not going to be allowed to pay buyer agents and so since they would be out of compliance with the um, the uh, clear communication or uh, the the co clear cooperation rule with NAR. A lot of them had to, to step away. So it's going to be interesting to see how this all turns out. They um, they are doing their um, run on a lot of the circuits. You see a lot about them on Housing Wire and Inman News, um, and um, they're talking about some of the things that. Um, they want to bring to us um, that we may not be getting from NAR, not saying that they're going to be able to do it or that this is even going to last past this year. It's just something to watch um, just so that you know what's going on um, in that sphere uh, with regards to that antitrust lawsuit. But yes, they are backtracking on some things. Um, so we may see some changes happening with settlements and things of that nature that we didn't expect to happen before. And so that concludes today's um, episode of Friday Focus. If there is something that you want to hear um, us discuss on future episodes, please send an email, um, give me a call, send me a text, and I will be happy to arrange um, it so that we can have discussion and education around the topics that you want to hear. Um, and also, if you can think of anything um, that we might uh, be able to, to um, do to um, create an app that you will actually use, please let me know that too. You can send that to me via email or text. And with that being said, I would like to thank you so, so much for joining. Uh, my sidekick, Shanita, actually had to um, go a different way this afternoon after our office meeting, so she was not able to um, be with us today. We usually record this thing the day before um, and at a specific time, but we just weren't able to do that today. Please forgive us for the late delivery. As I said it at the beginning of the um, episode, we will try our very best not to have that happen again. And I have some great um, information coming to you from agents um, in our office who do Airbnb and investments and things of that nature. So, so keep tuning in and listening. And um, I thank you so much for your participation. And thank you so much for being the best real estate agents in the Mid-South. Take care now. Until next time. Bye now.